And welcome everyone to Hybrid Let's Play. I am Hybrid, and today on the stream, we are joining back up with Sargon to take on the last little bit, hopefully, of Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown. Uh, very excited to be back. Uh, it's our first time back in a week. Um, and unfortunately, it'll be another week before we stream again. Very sad, but happier times tonight as we uh, as we try to 100% this game. Um, so I think what we're going to do is because uh, we don't have that much left to do uh, really quickly. If we go to the lore, I'm pretty sure we have all the lore because I feel like that was like the biggest thing. Yeah, we have all the lore. Lore done. Good, good, good job, Bless. We did lore. Um... I think all we have left is the these sections. We got a coin in the sacred archives, uh, a chest and a coin in the depths, uh, a coin in the pit of eternal sands, and then a coin and a chest in sunken harbor. Um, the chests are going to be a little difficult to find. Uh, thankfully, I do have a thing for the coins. I think the thing that's going to save... Uh, us for getting getting all the chests is that I still have two pieces of heart left to find as well. I'm hoping those are in chests <laughs> because if so, then I should be able to find them a little more easily. Um, but right now we're just going to kind of focus on getting coins uh, and seeing if that naturally leads us to chests. So we are going to warp first to the sacred archives. Since there's only one there, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. Secret Archives. Uh, yeah, we can start here. Um, let's see. So I know two of the ones we've gotten. Because how many are in this area? There's six in this area. I know we've already gotten two. Like, for a fact. And it's these two up here. I know we have those. Uh, so then there's one... here i i think we have this one though so let's see what's the first one we can actually just go see if we have apparently this one like right here okay so let's let's go check this out yes we are using a map and a guide but like we found a good percentage of this game without a guide i was i was actually pleasantly surprised how much of this game we found without guides. Like I say, we probably did about three quarters ish, maybe a little bit more of the entire game uh, without a guide. So I, I thought that was pretty good. Um, all right, I'm pretty sure we have this coin. Yes, I'm not as dead as CC, but here's the good news Zephyr. Welcome in on this Saturday. Uh, Cosmic, not so dead anymore either. Mere, mere flesh wounding. All right, let's see. But glad you're glad you're here with us. Oh boy. Oh god, I'm dead. Like 52%. Yes. All right. Yeah, I feel like we've gotten this one. Yeah, we, we have this one. So I can just die. It's fine. Okay, uh, so then where's another one? Okay, it looks like there's maybe a hidden spot. We didn't, let me see. Okay, okay, I think this is it. I think it's like right here. So we need to go, we need to go check out this place because it looks like there is a illusory wall situation that we did not do. They both went, wow, you sound terrible. And I was like, this is a hundred thousand. Yes, that's true. Y'all, <laughs> it was, uh, not to be too dramatic, it was a little touch and go there for a second. <laughs> Just, oh boy. <laughs> it was, um, hmm. It was like, hey, sh should we go to urgent care? Is that, is that, is that gonna make you feel better? Because that'd be good. I want you to feel better. <laughs> Uh, so, but we're good now. Everything is good. Everything is good. Uh, let's see. So we go this way. Uh, and then we go. Warp. Oop. 
Uh, okay. We got magic pills. Yes. Yes, we did. Oh, I think I absolutely see the illusory wall now. I think I see. I, I think it's, it's gotta be that, right? Yeah, okay. Hey now, oh God, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's the good kind. <gasps> okay. Okay. I understand. Got that one. Okay, that was, <laughs> oh boy. I could see if you were doing that like on your first trip through this area, that one actually would be insanely hard. But now with uh, the, the way we have all our powers now, it's all good, we're fine. Okay, so now we need to hit, uh, where's the nearest warp? Just going back? Yeah, just going back, okay. So we have this, uh, which means this, uh, the uh, sacred archives are done. Sacred archives, knock them off the books. Uh, there is still one thing we could do in the sacred archives, technically in like the, the jail. I don't know if we'll do it because we don't need the money. Oh, I, yeah. All right, cool. Um, so yeah. So there's, there is like a, a bombable wall in the jail we have to do. It just gives us money. If that needs to be done for 100%, I guess we'll find out later. But uh, I hope not. I hope not. Um, okay. So now we can warp uh, to the depths and figure out which coin we're missing there. And hopefully along the way, we just figure out what chest we're missing. Um, depths, 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 depths. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. What's uh... okay. So this one is close to like one of them. Um, this one is close to one. Actually, this one is very close to one and we can warp out of there if it's not that one. So that's good. I've come to enlighten you as promised. Every time I'm like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? All right, so let's go check if it's uh, this one. Uh, we gotta get through here. Hello, how are you doing? Haven't seen you in a hot second. Um, all right, we're just gonna go up here. Boop, shaboops. Tell you what, this is probably gonna be our last episode I imagine this game. I am really gonna miss how fluid this game is. Like, my God, what a triumph of game design this is. All right, uh, so I guess it's in this room. Yeah, it's okay, so there is a coin somewhere in this room, unless we already got it. In which case, there is no longer a coin in the room. Which I'm starting to think this was a triumph. Um, making a note here. Huge success. Um, all right. And ch chest thing is an herb. Secret chest amulet's not going off either. I feel like we have got this coin. So, okay. So we're going to go back. Although, let me see. Uh, no, nah, it's going to take us a hot second. It's probably better to just warp.
I will say one thing I will not miss is the depths. <laughs> oh, hello. Um. Hello. But I will miss doing stuff like that. You are oh, thank you. If you're talking about I'm a hot second to CC, then you're absolutely right. I will I will take that medallion. Um here. All right, so let's go to, I guess this one. Yeah, yeah, Kalux, I know, I know. I meant to, oh, yeah, that's true. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Um, okay, so it's somewhere in here. Not the place of its beginning. Goodbye, Sargon. Goodbye. Um, okay. Yeah, not seeing any chests going off. Um, so we go up here. Ow. Thank you. Uh, okay, so there is... Okay, so it says there's a coin somewhere around here. I I think we've already gotten this one. Let me just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Guess there's no notes on that one. Okay. So this is yeah. I uh, we can go through here. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we've gotten this one. Okay. Okay, um, so we can go back towards the safe point, sort of. We just, we just need to go down. Just go down. Always, always be going down. Um, there's none that way, right? Right, okay. We can, I guess we can interact. Okay. Um. Ow. Really? Um, so yeah, we're gonna go this way. How dare you? Um, oops. No, we do not need a marker here. Thank you. All right, so yeah, this is where we fell. Great. Um, and then we need... Um, let's see, so now we're going to go around. don't necessarily remember these noises. These screams and cries. Um, all right, so there should be one around here. Have we already gotten this one? That's fine. Cause I'm not seeing one. Yeah, it would have been, it would have already, we've already passed it. So it's not there. 
Okay, uh, there is one just a, a roomish away. Alright, so we can go this way. Walk it up. And then we need to go up, it looks like. Yeah. Can I actually go up? Yeah, I should be able to with this. Okay. And then... There's like one in the middle of this room? Wait, really? Is there an illusory wall here? Or did I get this one already? Um, okay, I, I guess we have this one. I mean, great, again, we have all but one, so. Um, all right, we go this way. Pass you. Go through here. Come on out the other side. And there's apparently one all the way down here now. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, okay. So wait, do I need to go like all the way down here? No, okay. Interesting. Okay, so. Okay, cool, got it. Uh, So unfortunately we did not find the chest. So that kind of sucks. Um. Then here's what we can do. Uh, oh boy. How, how get back up? Like this? Like this, okay. All right, uh, and we're, we're by a warp point. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, Soma petals, yeah, okay. All the way back over there, huh? Okay. Yep. Let's go check that area. Um, Got to do a little bit of backtracking. Backtracking. Um, uh, actually, no, we're supposed to go up here. Um, and then just go up. Oh, can I not go up here? Okay. Um, can I go up here? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, cool. Now we can run across. Uh, we need to get through this room. I made the giant crater because I am so strong. Then we go through here. Kill you again. Uh, and then get into this room. So apparently there is a... There is a Soma petal in this room. Is there any other one in the depths? No, this is it. So I feel like this almost has to be it. Um, looks like it's down here. Oh, it's right here. But it's not in a chest. Okay. Did that is that is that what it was though? Oh, that's what it was. So it's not all, all chests. Oh, thank God. Okay. Although that again kind of sucks. Um. 
because uh um yeah if we had that stupid deluxe edition parrot we would have been able to find that oh and we have a warp right here we have a warp right here let's go okay cool that means the depths are done i have to kill you one more time later get wrecked nerd you were one of the scariest things i've ever seen in this game and now i just kill you for fun Ow. Uh, no. No, this is fine. This is this is fine. This is fine. I I can I can play this video game. I can 100% play this video game. I can play this video game. I can play this video game. Is this an easier way to go? This this might actually be easier. Maybe not. Maybe actually. No. I just, I just, why is this so hard? Oh, I can, I guess I can kind of do this. There we go. I can play the video game. Okay, and then let's warp to Pit of Eternal Sands. Sure. Over here. Okay. There are a lot of coins in this area. They're all very spread out. I hope we just guess it right on the first try. All right, uh, let's go this way. All right, and I, I'm pretty sure this is not, yeah, we have all the treasures here. Okay, so the, the last heart piece is in the other region, the pirate town. All right, so we go through here. If we go through a couple rooms this way. Yes, deal with you. All right. Um, yeah, we need you to break this, please. Flox Arenos. Thank you. We go through here, this corridor. And then it's this way. Ow. All right. Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Beautiful. Now, I guess the question is. Yep. Shibbity boo, shibbity boo, shibbity boo. Ooh, no, we can't. We, it looks like we have to go from the up. We have to go from the up, I think. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh! That is hitbox manipulation. Okay. Okay, cool. Pit of Eternal Sands, done. I, I don't know how we survived that. That's okay, that's cool. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy to count it. 
All right, so now we can go to Pirate Town. All right, well, I'm glad that went fast. That's awesome. It's like, what are we gonna do with all these coins? Nothing. Not a whole lot, TBH. Oh, wait, it's, no, it's this way, okay. All right. Uh, cool. Then, um, yeah, let's go ahead and travel. And we're going to go to Sunken Harbor Pirate Village. Cool. All right. Can, can we guess right again? Uh, because, yeah, there's only so many coins in this one. There's only three. And we've gotten two of them. One is the bird. One is the bird. So we, we know that one is not it. Uh, so we can go. There's one down here. There's also a heart piece right here that we may not have gotten. And there's also a heart piece here. So I'm going to just go. I'm just going to go ahead and mark these. Since these are pretty much the last things we need in the game, I can then I can like close the thingy. Uh, this is we're going to mark. Uh, this is the jewel because it could be the piece of heart uh, and the piece of heart could be right here uh, and then coin could be here somewhere in here um, or it could be here okay Cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this tab then. Because I, I don't think we're going to need it anymore. TBH. Okay. Uh, so then let's let's check this, and then we can check this. Yeah. All right, so we go down here. Apparently it's it's somewhere up here. Unless we've already gotten it. Hey now. Okay. Uh So I am kind of feeling like we've already gotten this one. I'm going to leave the marker just in case, but I'm... I feel like we've already gotten that thing. Okay. So now we can go all the way down here into this room. It's fine. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. through here all the way down here across here uh and then we okay okay see i guess the question is is it here is it in this room Um, it might be. No, it's... I feel like we would have seen it by now. So I don't, I don't think it's this one. Okay, so I don't think it's this one. Uh, which means it's this one and this one. So let's go back to the warp and we'll just warp up to here. I guess. Okay. 
see if we were if we were speedrunners right now we would just do the like save quits and and go back to uh our last respawn point but we're not speedrunners we're just accidental 100 percenters a very a much more exclusive club uh i'm gonna take you um Out. That launched me. Okay. Um, cross here. Um, yeah, we can run around. Cool. Uh, oh, wait. Warp is here. Warp is here. Go to warp. Landmines. I didn't actually know that's what that place was called. All right. Good deal. Uh, so we can go check out this coin. Can we not? Oh, I just go through here. Okay. We'll save again. That's fine. Technically, you know what? Technically, we can get go ahead and get rid of uh, this amulet. Yeah, we don't, we don't need that anymore. Um... You can put on something else. We can, we can do this. What was this one? Oh, we, we never like use that at all. How much does this reduce my health? Oh, it's just it's it's a one hitter. Okay. Gotcha. All right, we won't, we're not using that. Um. Uh. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll just use arrow. Okay. All right. Through here. Not a fan of dread mode. No. Especially not having not even beaten the actual game yet. All right. Uh, nope. Yep. All right, so we're going to go down here. Oh, there it is. Great. Coin. Uh, let me see. Like, how does how does this room work? Wait, do I just Okay, we got it. Great. Awesome. Okay, so we can remove that one and we can remove this one. So yeah, we just we just gotta go check up here for the last piece of heart. And that sh that should be everything. Ow. Uh, I think we are gonna go to oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, I think we are going to go, since we, this is gone, like, not too bad. Didn't take us too long to do this. Uh, I think I am going to go to the Sacred Archives and try to finish off that one breakable wall. Just in case it's, that's like part of 100%ing it. I don't think it would be, but like, you never know. All right, so let's go through here. Hello. All right, so it's all the way up here. Oh, oh, this was like the first mimic we ever found. Yeah, you can die. Nice. Let's go. All right. And that's it. That should be everything. Um, 
All right, we'll, we'll start here. Upper City looks done. Sacred Archives looks done. Uh, Old Royal Road looks done. Lower City looks done. Depths look done. Pit of Eternal Sands looks done. Sunken Harbor looks done. Raging Sea looks done. Uh, Hidden Village looks done. Soma Tree looks done. Uh, Hurricanian Forest looks done. Tower of Silence looks done. I think that's it. I think that is it. Uh, so then we are going to head back to the Sacred Archives into the prison. And we are going to try to blow up that stupid wall and get that money. And that should be about it. Then of course, we have to actually beat the game. There, there is that little, uh, little detail. Just minor detail. Uh, okay, so... Secret Archives... What puts us closest? Right here, okay. This puts us closest to the, the thingy. Um, yeah, let me just go down here. Okay, drop. Let me go through here. Drop. 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 Go through here. Then I think it's... The, yeah, it's the middle one. Okay. Yeah, get out of here. I don't want you screwing things up. Okay. Yay, we did it! Money! I don't need it, but thank you. Excellent. Okay. So. Uh, oh. Let's get rid of this marker because we don't we don't need that anymore. Okay, because yeah, I, I think the only things we don't have are, are things in the deluxe edition. And if if I will say, if that counts for a hundred percent, I might delete the game. <laughs> like I I I would be kinda mad. I I would really hope that would not be the case. Um But we'll see. Games have made me mad before. Um, okay. okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to save. That is a ginormous life bar. And we're going to exit, and we are going to uh, quit. Okay. And we're gonna see we're gonna see what it says. I do not expect this to be at 100 percent right now. I would be very surprised. 93 point. Wow. So those last six things we got accounted for 0.4% of the game. Well, I sure hope this last mission is 6.12%. Uh, I sure hope so. Okay. Okay, uh, so we need to go to the upper city. Where is the closest place to where we need to be? I guess. 
I think it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> fingers, fingers crossed. I, uh, I really don't want to throw a temper tantrum. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I thought, I didn't think it'd be a hundred. I, I thought we would have moved the needle a little bit more, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe story mode is legit just like that much of the big, big game. That's possible. I think it's just, I'm just like hoping that like, um, um, I'm just hoping upgrading isn't part of it. Oh God, I blocked this. I forgot when I did the, whoops. When I was doing the uh, the crazy trial thingy I did in the last episode, the three bell trial. Forgot I ended up locking that off again. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, oops. All right, so now we can just go this way. I, I kind of figure there'll be another walk, walk tree, maybe. All right, let's enter here. Yeah, run there. The Royal Corridors. Yeah, hey, walk, walk tree right here. Perfect. All right. Oh, hello, burb. Dealt with, dealt with that pretty okay. Okay. Any more burbs? Any more big burbs? Okay. Hey now! Hello. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm on fire. Okay. Burbs. Ah, money. Even though it doesn't really matter anymore, I think. Going up these corridors, these big corridors. Oh, hello. Oh, 
cool. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't know why I thought I could block that. Probably because I'm stupid. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm getting pretty close here. More birds. I feel like I hear the birds. Ooh, but I see walk walk. This looks like a very important room. Okay. Okay, so I could have come all the way up to here actually. Before um before fin I finished the game. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, you live and learn. Okay. Uh, do we want to switch amulets? I feel like, like... I feel like I don't know if this one's going to be very valuable because I don't know how much of full health we're going to be. Yeah, I don't know. I, eh, I feel like we can... This one might be good. To switch out maybe from that one. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, look at that blue glow. That that seems important. Uh, well, before I talk to you, any, anything on this side? Oh, there's that is a door. It doesn't look like there's any more on the map. So, all right. What's up, kid? Thora. My father gave you the key to the palace, didn't he? Then you can enter the Hall of Divination. Mm-hmm. Ready to face me, the older me. How do you know that? Control. You've seen your older self. I just know he's there, and I don't want to be like... You don't have to be. Sargon. You're still my friend, are you? There has to be a way to save him. I'll find a way. I didn't give up on you, and I won't give up on him. That's fair. Uh, warning, there will be no turning back. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. I feel like we've done everything, so... That is an evil-looking cup. I've lost too much to trust the Samorg again. I can't believe in such a cruel god anymore. Yeah, that's fair. You're super justified, Varum. You're not going this far, but yeah. With our powers combined as one, imagine all the good we could do for humankind. It's a compelling argument. <laughs> Varum, no human is meant to wield such power. I am no mere mortal. I am the first immortal. Sargon, you must understand. The Samorg's powers showed me the future. Uh huh. I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames, our people suffering for nothing, Persia vanishing, corrupted from within. Was that you, though? We can stop it, Sargon. We can build a world free of deceit, lies, human weaknesses. Help me save Persia. Give me your powers. If you aren't so crazy, I might think about it.
what you're doing, bud. And time and space. Yeah, you've gone full crazy. Creation. And I will create a new perfect empire. Baron! Baron, no! You should have joined me instead, Sargon. Okay. Varan destroyed everything. Mount Kav, Persepolis. There is nothing left. No immortals. No one. Only the void remains. Except... How very wise of you, bird. You were the one gifting me life time and time again. Why did you choose me rather than the others? I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure I understand either. They are always with me. I can't defeat them. This one, your courage. Be the universe. What if it's too late? I don't exist anymore. I couldn't stop Varen. Save him. What's the plan, bud? Okay. Crossroad of times. I actually like that. Not the crossroads of time. The crossroad of times. So this is why every other timeline of him has a simmer. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. It's also a canonical explanation of death in this game. He, he just went straight up Super Saiyan. Be 
the first to witness the birth of a new world. Are their lips supposed to be moving? Oh, he's, he's the final boss of Dread. We were just talking about Dread. You are mistaken. The world you have in mind cannot exist. I am the one and only. The creator. Yeah, you've gone crazy. The world is not up for debate. It manifests itself for all. Ah, <sighs> okay. Wow, you're really big. Oh boy. I didn't... <sighs> that was, that was a dumb move. How many life bars do you have, Varum? You cannot defeat a god, Saga. I can't join you either. Wow, you're really strong, but Oh, that was a parryable attack. Oh, that sucks. Wow, I didn't understand that attack at all. This is the only way.
I, I I was like, I don't even see myself right now. Perfect empire oh boy. Oh my god. That's 35 deaths so far in this playthrough. <laughs> That's a fight and a half. <sighs> oh, interesting. Ow. This boss do be hacking. Okay. We got to phase three. 
How many phases are there? I hope not many more than three. I hope no more than three. You are resisting the inevitable. Right. No. No! He's gonna do the jump. I did not think we were gonna get that. I really did not. Where are you? Call an ambulance, but not for me. Okay. You're kidding me. You will give me what's- Oh, there's a fourth phase. Or is there? It's over. We had bird powers. Nope, there is actually another phase though. Oh, we just have like. Oh, okay. actually kind of hard to tell where I am right now. <laughs> that was a little bit of a victory lap phase. Yo, <laughs> give me this QTE. Learn to say I will escape. True warrior needs no weapon. It's your actions that matter. Then I wish to be where we mortals are friends again. gonna punch him with the truth. Oh, that was hype. Crackling with tension. You were right, Sargon. I know. 
Listen to me next time. His powers were never ours. It is the end. What? To all in Persia. Oh. This is kind of ending the same way Convergence did, just saying. I think he's using the hardest simmer to repair time. Reborn. Hey, what's up, everyone? Oh, hey, I want to come stab you. Excuse me, ma'am. Could you come down here? I need to stab you now. Son. The immortals have succeeded. What's going on? What's going on? History will remember you. May our paths cross again. You're a good one, Prince. You real, homie. Um, your majesty. That's a good question. He did. He for sure did. You brought back the Simorg. And I did. Of worthy of a king. We'll see if anybody else did. I need no praise. My blades served the crown, but in Mount Calf, they were bloodied with the truth. I know what you did last summer. Menelaus, Rajin, Anahita, Varum, all dead now. A small Which was Rajin? To secure my bloodline. Thirty years ago, King Darius was murdered. I'll let you confess that story. <laughs> Mike, drop! Sargon! Well then, that's, that's one way to leave. Sargon is the coolest. <sighs> Seriously, who is Rajin? I don't I don't remember this person. <laughs> A 
I hate that. Oh, I thought it was the parrot we saved. Herbs like me. Oh, it's you. Are you saying I can fly? Are you just happy to be free? Are you happy to be free of Mount Cough? Now that everything's okay again? Quick scroll. Now nah, we won't quick scroll. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I need I need to remember who was Rajin. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, before before we do our, our normal wrap up here. Uh, Rajin. Who was Rajin? Wait, when did she die? Okay, this is masked, uh, assassin. Wait, what? Uh, I uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. So I, yeah, some people are saying that maybe this was cut content because, because one of the constellations of the four constellations you do, one you get directly after fighting snake uh, thing, one you get after fighting Menelaus, one you get after Oron, and then the other one you just get after like a puzzle. So there is some speculation that maybe she was supposed to be um um she was supposed to be a fight and just never was um That is weird. Um, yeah, I, I I do get the impression that maybe that was cut content. Like they they had that fight somewhere in the game, and then, but they couldn't get it quite right, or they didn't know what to give her as far as an ability, and and so they just cut her but they didn't cut the line where she's dead. 
So that's really interesting. Um. Hmm. That is that is a a very odd way to end the game. A very odd feeling. Uh, but otherwise, yo, what a game! What a game this was. Um, my God, what a really good Metroidvania. What a really good return to the Prince of Persia IP. Like I know this wasn't what every single person wanted when they when they heard Prince of Persia was coming back. Um, and I understand that, but man, it's a really good game. Like it's really, really good. I'm not I don't I don't want to speculate on where this ends up on the tier list at the end of the year. But it's gonna be pretty high up there. Um It'll be pretty high. It'll be pretty high. Oh yeah. Um music was good. Music was really good. Mentrix, you whoever you are, you did a really good job. Um the voice actors by and large did a really good job. I thought Varum was a little flat near the end. He didn't he didn't lean enough into the uh the crazy, the crazy powerfulness. Um he just kind of sounded like it was another day at the beach and I'm like, "Hey, eh, can could do a little bit more with us." Um oh, they're listing like all the the musicians. Oh, nice. Good for you guys. Good for you guys. Um also, I'm noticing like a lot of, um, I guess, names that could be from that region of the world. Uh, and I think that's really cool that it seems like they tried to make this like authentic uh, and bring in and bring in um, people like that. That's really good. Um, oh, Gareth Coker was also involved. Wait, what did Gareth Coker do? I know Gareth Coker has done some stuff. Where do I know this name? Did he do Ruin King? Okay, he did Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Oh, he did, uh, he did the Immortals Phoenix Rising's, uh, music. That, that checks out. That 100% checks out. Uh, let's see what else he's done. He did, he did both Ori games. Okay, so that must be how I knew it. Okay, so the Ori games and then, um, that. Let's see what else. Uh, Immortals. Oh, he did do Ruin King. I was right. Oh, he also did Mage Seeker. Oh, God. Yo, Gareth Coker is really good, you guys. Oh, my God. Yo, good for him. He kind of crushed it. Yeah, he did really, really well. Everybody involved with the music did really, really well. The art style is really great. Um, I thought, I thought, um, uh, Sargon had a chance to be really unlikable in this game and he's really not like he actually I feel like grows up and grows up very quickly like he's he's cocky in the beginning but he actually like Okay. Uh, <laughs> I did not expect a song with lyrics to come on. Um, no, I, th I think Sargon had a really good journey. I think he had a really good arc. I was I was really impressed. I thought they could have just had him be cocky for most of the game, and he really wasn't. Um, he very much tried to employ the just talk strategy numerous times with people and it just never worked not for lack of trying it just it was never going to work for him um so good on him uh the powers were really interesting uh i think the chakram 
was just such an inspired choice um as this really cool thing to do with your bow and arrow um and then to also make it it's it's a weapon it's a puzzle solving tool and then it also becomes a movement tool later in the game and it feels so good to use man it feels so good to use um the collectibles were for the most part good uh i'm not gonna lie though i'm still a little bummed that they made the um an amulet uh deluxe only deluxe version only um i still think that maybe that was something they could have done where like if you beat the game you just unlock it to actually like get everything that you missed um i i'm i was not a fan of that i understand you have to do something but i would rather have it just be more costumes i know there is one costume that's unlocked with the, the deluxe edition too um but i would rather just do more costumes than um than um than something that can actually be for gameplay i thought it was the biggest thing in the world i mean again i would say we got probably about 75 to 80 percent of the game without a guard and that was pretty good um so i was i was pretty proud of us for that um the the movement puzzles by and large were really good they were they they got to the point like i remember there's the one room where you have to go through a bunch of different ways that the the buzz saws come out of the wall which again the only reward for that was a friggin' costume um but that that always felt possible nothing in this game felt impossible it was it was the most kindest most gentle get good that i've i think i've ever experienced um i i was really impressed with the level layout with the puzzle layout like i think the only puzzle we really had i wouldn't even say like a beef with but there was the question was like the very first uh like big puzzle we did with the statues and and like trying to get which way they faced because it was slightly unclear or not even that it was unclear it was just the way they worded it there was like two i think legitimate potential answers eh, that's, that's that's not bad if that's like my biggest complaint of your puzzles that's not bad that's a really good hit rate um and yeah, then there was stuff like the bell trial, which was really, really difficult. Um, I probably made it more difficult than it needed to be, but I I think that was really good. Um, the bosses were awesome. I can't imagine those bosses on like the the actual like toughest difficulty. Um I was really impressed with them. Men Elias was a really fun fight. Um uh Darius was a really fun fight and just a really cool design and Varum, Varum at the end all three of Varum's fights were actually pretty fun um uh wait a minute wait it says set medic medic on set they might anybody see this like it's right over there it's going, going up here it says set medic Medic on set. I. So, no, no, it's not just good that they had a set medic. I'm, I'm talking about like the name was medic on set. Who, who was it? Mocap is dangerous, especially if Chris Judge is your partner. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Cosmic. It was like, like you see up here, stunt coordinator Ken Tran. It said, uh, set medic, medic on set. Did they actually, I don't know. Like, I don't know if they, that was like a placeholder and they just forgot. Oh no. <laughs> to whoever the medic on set was. I, I see you. I see you. Oh, man. 
Uh, imagine that dude. That's a dude's real name. Uh, this creator was written by the American Redundancy Department of U.S. Redundancy to give the person their credit. Uh, <laughs> credit must be approved by the MLB Baseball Association. Oh, man. Yo, voice people, you did really good, though. All of y'all, all of you involved in voice. Y'all did really good. Again, except for some of Varum's last lines. Other than that, you guys are great. All the voices. Yeah, Tommy Simon. I hope I, I, I'm going to mispronounce some of these. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did really good. Stuart Scudamore, you did really good until the very end. Um, Kalux, I swear to God, they replaced Kalux's voice actor with a patch. I know that changed at some point. Anyway, um, yeah, no, y'all did really good. Everybody on this list, y'all did really good. I don't remember all of you, but y'all did really good. Uh, yeah, again, sorry, Rajan. Oh, you know, was, Rajan was also the Kiana, the Force Queen, and Karsif, who I don't remember. That's probably one of the, like, the ten or eight um, fights we had to find across the map. Yeah, y'all did really good. Good job, y'all. Man. Yeah, good job. Good job, Brazilian Portuguese version, which I'm sure is also very good. Oh, man. Also, look, look what a small studio from Papa Ubi can do. Look what it can do. Yo, there's a Farsi version? Dang, good for them. Look what it can do, though. Take, take that, Skull and Bones. <laughs> Oh, man. I bet, you, I bet you didn't think you were going to get a Skull and Bones drive-by in here, did you? Oh, man. That game. Uh, oh, boy. That, uh, that game seems to not be very good. So that's unfortunate. Um, I don't know how well you all did. I'm sure you all did great, though. I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Is Skull and Bones drive by last long? <laughs> In the public consciousness, yes. Oh, man. That, that game had no chance. That, oh, man. I feel so bad for everybody from, like, Ubisoft Montreal who had to go and, like, help on that game. That, that, anyway. Anyway. Go play Sea of Thieves. Go play Assassin's Creed 4. Just, just go play Assassin's Creed 4. It's probably cheaper, and it probably runs better, and it probably looks better, and it's just a better game. Just don't go play Skull and Bones. Go go play Assassin's Creed 4. It's, it's the one I've actually played, and I've only played, like, one island. And I can tell you, <laughs> go play that. Oh, man. Ugh. So yeah, quick. Uh, so since we're since we're still getting more voice talent here, um, I'm guessing this is like the French version. Um, don't ask why. Um, yeah. So I started. So Cosmic's younger brother gave us or sold us, I guess technically, his Xbox 360 and all the games he had for it. Um. And one of the games is Assassin's Creed 4, and I'd never played an Assassin's Creed before. So I checked it out. This was back in 2015, six? No, it had to have been 16. It was 2016. Um, so we got it like that fall, I think. And when I started playing, did he sell it to us? I thought you just said to take it since he was in Redacted already. I think it was like for a hundred bucks. I think we gave him a hundred bucks for it, for all the controllers, the Guitar Hero stuff, or if that was even part of it, and then all the games. Because there were a bunch of games on there. I, th I think it was just like a hundred bucks for everything, which, 
you know, for what it was, like, that was more than worth it. Um, and we got it, and so I played, I started up Assassin's Creed 4. And I was like, oh, this is a really fun game. And then I did the thing I do, <laughs> which if y'all remember my Immortals Phoenix Rising playthrough, I went to the starter island and I found every uh, Eagle Vision perch point, whatever. So I was able to show the entire map of that island and all the little dots on it of everything you can do. And I did every single thing. And right after I finished that, like a couple days later, uh, we went, Cosmic and I went up to Redacted to be with her family for Christmas. And I never touched that game again. <laughs> You created the first island so good it was basically murder. Yeah, I murdered my my desire to play that game again. I burned out on it so hard. Like I would probably go back and play it now. Um, it's such a good game though. Oh, it was. I had a blast playing it. Do it. Uh, the only thing is, I'm gonna have to. I would have to. Uh, I would then have to haul the 360 up here. Add it to the end of the mile long to playlist. Um, although I wonder, like, if it's just on Papa Ubi's server, like, if it's cheap, I, I don't buy it again. Like, if it's five bucks, I'll buy it again. I don't care. Probably, oh, probably, like, play a little bit better than the 360 version anyway. Um, but yeah, I just, that would be a long game. How, how long, uh, let me see, can I do this? Uh, let's go to one of my favorite websites. Since I started streaming, how long to beat.com? What is Assassin's Creed 4? To be fair, we all already do have an Assassin's Creed game on the list. It's just not 4. Uh, 4 says main story 23 hours, main plus extra 41, completionists a little over 60. So, usually with how long to beat, I have to add like. 20% or so. So we'd probably be looking at like 50 to 60 hours, which wouldn't be horrible. But it'd have to be like at a point of the year where I'm like, oh, I know there's nothing coming out anytime soon. Just like Jedi Survivor. <laughs> that would require hauling the 360 up here, says men. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh no. Thank you, Zephyr, for making it rain. Oh man. They're still going, by the way. This is uh, this is a little bit longer than I thought it would be. That's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, it'd be more just like where to put it. Like I do have my, I do have the shadow cast. So capturing it probably wouldn't be a problem. I guess I would just keep it like tucked down here. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one day we'll add to this. What are the other ones I actually have? Let me, let me, let's pull up the list. Since again, we're not doing anything else right now. Um. We need a companion to how long to beat. How long are the credits? <sighs> you know, in a world where you can find out easily, like, does the animal die? That's actually a really good idea, Zephyr. I was wondering how you're going to buy these credits. Yeah, <laughs> same, same midnight, actually same. Uh, let's see. Where's my, where's my, where's my thing here? Um, uh, games. That's right. My notes just called games, all caps. Um, so what we got on the list. We got, uh, we can mark off Prince of Persia, I guess. Uh, we have Jedi Survivor, Alan Wake 2 DLC. We still have the new Alan Wake 2 DLC, guys. Um, we'll come back to that in a second, by the way. Oracle of Ages, Portal 2, 
Abduction, Riven, Cube and Cube 2, Guacamelee 1 and 2, Bioshock, probably just Bioshock 1. Uh, Blue Fire, Dragon Age Inquisition, maybe. Uh, okay, here we go. Assassin's Creed Syndicate or Origins or Odyssey. I, I, I wrote down. Uh, what else we got? Location withheld. The world begins with you, not the world ends with you. The world begins with you. Uh, Deus Ex, Human Revolution, Rip Elias Two Foxes. Uh, the Bookwalker, Celeste, Grist, uh, potentially Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Saints Row, the reboot, and Curse to Golf. That's the list right now. So you know what? We'll... So it's now Assassin's Creed Syndicate or Origins or Odyssey or Black Flag. We'll do one of them. I think the record for a video game is over 45 minutes of credits. Was it Starfield? Because I'm pretty sure even zooming through like the last third, we hit 30 over 30 minutes. What was it then? Because I, I, I mean... I'm not going to pull up Star... Although that would be, I guess, be a fun way to end the stream. Just pull up Starfield. I just go... No, shut your mouth. No way, Zephyr. Four hours? <sighs> Did the credits last longer than anybody actually played Mighty Number no. 9? Wow, Skull and Bones and Mighty Number no. 9 just getting absolutely combo broken. Wow. I'll say that one. Sorry, Mighty Number no. 9. Sorry. Um, oh, right, chat. Now that I now that I have you here. Um I think I ran this by Cosmic, but I'm wondering um, what y'all think. Thor Alan Wake 2. On that note, it's getting too hot in here. Wait, wait, one sec. Okay, real quick. All right, Alan Wake 2. When we have to do, we have to play through the whole game again because there's like the, the second version or whatever, the lost chapter, I think it's called. Um, I'm, my thought is to actually put it on the easiest mode. When we, when we do the actual DLC new content, we put it back on like normal difficulty, but to actually just go through the game again, throw it on easy. The Alan Wake 2 over? Yes. Alan Wake 2 redo. Um, yeah, so that's my thought. Because like, again, most of it is going to be the same. Like I know they said like some of the pages are a little different. Maybe a little bit of the, the cutscenes are different and the ending is different, which is awesome. But like, I don't I don't particularly feel like doing the fights over again at, at a normal difficulty. I'd rather just be able to two tap them and be done with it. Um, so I think that's OK. If any of you all think that's not cool, I'm I'm open to it. But like I, I the, the irony is that they actually introduced like an even harder difficulty to be like, hey, your second time through, give yourself even more challenge with this extreme difficulty. And I'm like, no, I just want to make it easier. Whatever's fun for you. Okay. Yeah, because I'm like, as much as I do love Alan Wake 2, and I really do love it, go back to our tier list from last year, you can tell. Um, I don't have a ton of desire to actually do a normal playthrough again. Again, for, for the actual like, two DLC things that'll be new content, like completely new content. I'm fine with kicking it back to the normal difficulty, but to just run through all the areas I've already been through again, I, I you know. sounds perfectly fine. It's your stream. Do it's fun. That's what I figured. Zephyr, how dare you? How dare you compare those two games? How dare you? How dare you? But but yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So, because again, it's a great game, but you know, meh. Like I, 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 I fought, I fought the the nameless enemies enough. I fought the doggos enough. We we don't we don't need to prove we can fight the doggos again. 
I need the meme of these are the same. These are not the same thing. Corporate asked you to look at your these two pictures and spot the differences. These are the same picture. Um, you know what? In a lot of ways, they really are the same. Just in every level of quality, they are literally opposite ends of the spectrum. But I mean, you know, tor guy tortured by his demons goes to the bad place. Yeah. Okay. Good nights ever. You did, I noticed you did multiple, <laughs> multiple. Speaking of trying to scooch myself out the door here. Thank you for coming by. Always happy to have you here. Uh, just one was done well and the other was done. Can we blame Benedict Fox for killing the Xbox? Can we do that? Is that a thing we can do? Can we blame that? <laughs> Time to be hitting the old dusty trail. <laughs> I hope, I hope uh, work goes very fast for you tonight, Zephyr. Okay. Now, what are we at right now? Let me go back to my... Ooh, uh, something fun. Cosmic, this is for you. Since you're more of this kind of person than I am. Um... Apparently, no, I don't think this is available yet for everybody. I guess I can check right now. Which is... Um, the Twitch is making adjustments to the uh, raid channel button uh, to allow you instead of... If you click on it and you just... Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, that sounds good, Cosmic. Uh, I just got your text. Um, I didn't mind Benedict Fox, but then again, I didn't play him. Yes, yes. Benedict Fox... Like Omicron the Nomad Soul. Very good games to watch someone else suffer through. It's not a fun game to suffer through yourself. At all. That is, that's exactly it. Like, if I had watched somebody play through Benedict Fox, I would probably watch that playthrough multiple times. But playing it is not fun at all. Um, oh, but what I was saying, going to say is, uh, Twitch is updating their like raid button on their, the stream manager page, uh, to allow you to do some like actual searching instead of like having to go back to the Twitch main website and search from there. Like you can just do it directly from there. It's not available to everybody yet. They said they're going to be releasing it to specific or, or certain people or whatever, which means that I, we probably won't be getting it for a while. But, uh, you know, if I, if I did Twitch, if I do this, can I, can, can I have the new raid graphics? Can I, can I have the new encoding thing? I would like to be able to encode an HEVC Twitch. Can I, can I do it now? Can not low cut enough. Yeah, that's fair. How does it feel knowing that game is the one that will follow you your entire streaming career? Honestly, the fact that there is a game that's going to follow me for my entire streaming career is kind of cool. I, I can't be too mad about it. I wish it wasn't that one. <laughs> but the idea that a game will be following me is pretty cool. Need a really deep v-neck and some stuffing. I mean, I could like take this off and put it in my shirt, but I also like this shirt, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> If I was wearing, like, a really bad shirt, I would do that, but... Ugh. Yeah. We're still going, by the way. Narrative! Yeah! You guys wrote a good story. You guys did good. I assume that's what narrative is. I don't know at this point. Oh, yeah. Game, so, game credits apparently have gotten really long, you guys. This is, uh, this is not just a Starfield issue anymore. This is an every game issue now, I guess. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, it is really cool to see Twitch actually doing some good stuff lately. Um, you know, apart from like every other organization in this space is just shedding their workforce left and right. Besides that. 
good to see Twitch doing some good things. But, yeah. This is widespread. This is, dare I say, it's a pandemic. Ugh. Quality Foundation Technology Group. Man, sure, you guys... You know what? The game was good. You guys must have done something right. Well done. Well done, team. Oh, man. Yeah, another... So I guess start bringing it back. Because hopefully we're near the end of this game. Like, these are near movie credits at this point. Um... Ooh, Twitch chat. Do we think there's going to be a stinger? Do we think there's going to be some sort of stinger? Because I am on record saying I don't want a sequel to this game. This game does not need a sequel. This game is good. If, if you're going to make a sequel, do something completely different. You can make another Metroidvania. Don't, don't bring Sargon back. Sargon's cool. Don't bring him back. I'm, I'm done. It's been like 30 minutes of credit so far, right? Uh, I think it's been more than that now. But I don't know. Which on one end, yes, credit these people. Yeah, absolutely. True. <laughs> like, I wish this was going just a little bit faster. I know there's a quick quick scroll button, but like, I just wish the default was a little bit faster. <laughs> or that they would like use more than one row, maybe? But you know, that's not what we're doing. Sarkon, yeah. Alternate, alternate person. Bar gone. Oh, man. Yeah, I would be down. I would be down to play another game. Another Metroidvania from this studio, though. I just... Bring it out in three years and don't have it be connected. Or just be like in the future. Like he's... The great 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 grandson of Sargon. I'm down for that. I would be down for that. But don't 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 do it, Ubi. Don't do it, Papa Ubi. I know I know you want to. I I know you you're seeing all these good reviews, all this good sentiment, and you're like, we got it. We got to strike while the iron's hot. I need you to to uh, reject your base instincts on this. And I need you to not make a direct sequel and give this some room to breathe. And then you come out with a new game. Please. I'm begging you. Oh, man. Inner source, clever commit, clever coach, square platform, square inner source, coach, square desktop. Sure. I, I don't know what that means. That's the other thing I think about the credits is like, I don't know what things mean. So like, I'm like, I, I don't know what you did. You're a programmer. Great. I don't know what you program. So what is next after these never ending credits actually end for the stream? I don't know. It's probably going to be over two hours once this finishes. So. I don't know. Maybe we'll pop something up on the switch. We do have it. Um. But I, I mean, we're definitely not starting a new, a new game. So I don't, I don't know. People will play some more 1080 snowboarding. Uh, yes, it's the great to the 100th grandchild. So it takes place in the way future, but then they get into a machine. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> That'd be so interesting. Uh, that would be so interesting. A game where, where the distant relatives relive uh, big historical events. Wow. And maybe there's like aliens. I read the wiki. I read about the aliens. Desmond didn't deserve that. <laughs> Nobody deserved that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Ubi would definitely do that. <laughs> you were never actually playing as Sargon. You were playing as Gargamesh in the Animus. That franchise didn't deserve that. That is true. That is true. Oh, man. That is very true, Midnight. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, cause yeah, I do, I do have my Switch here. So, I guess, here, let's see what we got. What do we have on here? 
Uh, I don't know. Cosmic, we need to play more Super Mario Wonder. <laughs> we haven't played in a while. Kind of switch it up and play something else. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Does anybody know how long the Pikmin 4 demo is? Because, like, we can do that. I've never done that. I just randomly downloaded it one day, but I've never played it. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. That's a, that's an idea. Um, we could, we could suffer through Baba as you a little bit, but I don't think I have the brain capacity to play Baba. Um, yeah, I don't know. Could play Octopath Traveler too. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, I don't know. We could play Warframe and have no idea what we're doing. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. Actually, we'll do that. We'll see how long. No time limit, but the demo ends after you collect 150 sparkly, um, whatever those are. Great. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. If, if, uh, depending on how long this takes, to actually get the credits to the end of it, uh, we'll, we'll maybe switch it up and play the uh, Pikmin 4 demo. I've never played a Pikmin game before. Um, so I would be very interested to see. I heard a lot of people say it was good. Like, quite good. Not like game of the year good, but still quite good. Um, which, again, last year, to be game of the year, you had to be like 95 and up. Oh, man. So... But we might do that. Um, are we still going? Yeah, just... Again, if you just used, like, two rows for the credits, you could be done in, like, half the time. That is, that is something the movies do, I imagine, to, like, speed things up a little bit, is just have more than one name on a line. Um, but I don't, I don't know. Hey, we're at a special thanks position. Maybe, maybe this is it. No, no, it's not. Two or three columns at one time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you got, you got to get to both a mid credit and post credit stinger. You don't, you don't have time to lollygag. You know, those people, they, they've been sitting in those chairs for for two hours, two and a half hours. They're itching to get out. They probably have to pee. They're not trying to stay that long for, to see, you know, three seconds of Ant-Man talking to Captain America. No, we, we, we gots to go. Gots to go. Oh, man. But here we are, we're still here. We're just, we're just chilling. I would have dipped at this point, yeah. If this is a movie, I probably would have dipped too. I've been like, yeah, if there was something else, probably would have done it mid credits. But we're going to keep on going because I, I, we're too invested now. We have to know how long these credits are going to be. We have cracked two hours. Um, yeah. The things are getting shorter, so maybe, maybe... Maybe we're almost to the end here. Um, is there anything else I can talk about this game? Oh, I guess now, I guess to be fair, we do have to actually make sure we're at 100%. Because <laughs> if we're not at 100%, then we can't play uh, Pikmin yet. And we have to figure out why we're at 100 We're not at 100%. Don't fall for the sunk cost fallacy. It's, it's not a fallacy. I just, I know we're almost there and we've probably spent so much time. It's, it's a known fact that gamblers stop right before they're about to win big. So we just have to keep going. Oh, oh I see, I see sort of an end. I see sort of an end. Games, what? <laughs> what is this? 
What is game security? What? <laughs> they do stop before the winning. Yeah, it's technically true. It is, it is, it is almost in 99% of cases, it is true. And being technically true is the best kind of true, so. Oh man, it, it live games, IT live games. Uh, okay. I'm not, again, not sure what this is, but, but the sections, oh, sorry. The sections are getting smaller. So like, Ugh. At least we're getting to listen to really good music while we do it. I am surprised though that there was only one song. I kind of felt like when they played the one song with lyrics, I was like, oh, I guess maybe we're about at the end of the credits. I think that was about half an hour ago now. I was, I was so wrong. I was so very wrong. Oh man. Um, what else can we talk about this game? Um, Athra Surges. Very interesting concept. Never felt like I had to switch from the first two I got. Ever. I, I don't know if switching would have been better, but as someone who likes to just uh, drain tank his way through these games, having one that heals you felt really good. Um, Cause it means that as long as you kept fighting, you were, you were essentially life stealing. It's just not always perfect life steal. You're converting damage into the ability to heal later. It's like, no, I can't. I can't say that on this stream. Nope, can't say that. Um, what is it like? No, never mind. Let's just move on. This would be. This would be if I if I actually cared about editing my vods. This would be one of those. No, just just cut this section. Just throw that one in the trash. <sighs> um. This is what happens when you're just trying to fill for time. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we can talk about our schedule technically right now, even though we're, it's not the end of the stream yet. Um, thanks, thanks, bot. Um, so unfortunately, I know we, we did not get to stream during the week this week. Um, and unfortunately, we will not be able to stream during the week again this coming week. Um, this is my very busy part of the year, like these two or three weeks towards the end of February. Um, this is this is my one truly busy time of the year. There's a few other semi busy times, but this is one where it's just like next week is going to be rough. <laughs> next week is going to be really rough. Um, so unfortunately, can't do a Monday or Thursday stream next week, but uh, we'll, we'll for sure be back on Saturday. So a week from today, we'll be back. We'll have a new game. Um, what that new game will be, I'm not sure. It'll probably be a shorter game. Uh, whether that's something like Gris or, um, what else was on the list? Um, yeah, I had the book Walker. Like there's a couple games that are pretty short on here. Um, so we'll probably do one or one of one or two of those maybe. And then we'll kind of take stock as we hit the beginning of March of like what the the game's calendar schedule looks like. Um because that might be a good time because I, I can't think of anything coming out in the near term that I'm like really itching to play. Um so it might be a good time to jump into either Jedi Survivor or Alan Wake 2 redo um i will say speaking of games that are that are coming out soonish uh that princess peach game looks really interesting that's coming out in march i i still don't know what you do in that game though i don't i don't 
I, I, I need to see like a full just level or world to understand. And I get, I understand the concept that it seems like you are doing something different depending on like what suit you're wearing. But I just, I need to understand what the actual gameplay flow is for that game. Um, I still don't know that I would buy it, but like it, it is, it looks like a really interesting and cool game, especially for a character like Peach that hasn't gotten the, the starring role in almost, almost anything. Um, I said almost, but it's everything they've showed while the gameplay has looked good. I just, I don't understand like what the overall flow of the game is going to be. Like, is it just kind of like mini games or mini worlds maybe? Um, that's, that's the only thing from like really keeping me from being like, oh, that would be actually a really, really cool game. Uh, again, I don't know if that'd be a game we would try on the channel, but you know, it looks like, it looks like they've put some effort into it. I will say that. Um, and some of those, those outfits look really cool. Uh, the, uh, like superhero one they showed off this week and the like thief one they did that everybody had to get their persona joke out of the way on. Um, those are really cool. There've been some others that have come out that look really cool as well. Um, but it's one of those things where like, you do have to wonder with a game like that. And I've seen some other people say, this is like, if you have a suit and you only get to use it in one area, if you really like that suit, you don't really get to do any more of that the rest of the game. And I guess on the other, the flip side is if a suit doesn't jive with you, you don't have to do that the rest of the game either. I guess so. There is like that kind of give and take. Um, Forty-five. You can skip the mind. All right. All right. We'll we'll start. I have to turn my controller back on. Excuse me. We'll start going. Quick scroll. How much more did we have? How much more did we have? You could, have, yeah. Did you, you not, you not see in the bottom left there? Yeah. I just wanted to see how long it would take. I was just, I was morbidly curious. Chat covers it. Oh, that's fair, I guess. The answer is too long. We're still, we're still going. This is what we did in Starfield. We started, we like got like 40 minutes in and then we started holding the button and it was still like another 10 minutes of just holding the button. So, oh man. But yeah, Princess Peach game uh, looks, at the moment I will call it interesting. I don't doubt it could actually be a really good game though. But I really needed to see what the flow of that game was gonna be. Okay, live revenue, live revenue strategy. What? Get that out of here. This isn't a live service game. Still holding down the button, by the way. Legal counsel. Okay, music licensing. All right. Still, still holding. Ubisoft news. Okay, okay. Audience media. What? What is this? Content creators. What? What? Oh man. Customer relationship center. Okay. This is like everybody. Oh man. Still, still pushing. We're sprinting, we're sprinting through them. The music will push us forward. Oh man. Okay, we might have been here like another half hour. Had we not done this? Uh, cause this is still good. Yeah, guys, guys, please. Next time, 
multiple columns, please. I, I beg. I beg. I'm not someone who says games have to be like movies, but like, come on. Come on, guys. I feel I feel like if we need to steal something from movies, that could be it. Oh, man. It's a lot of finance people. Marketing, analytics, and operations. Supply chain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we would have... I'm guessing... I am guessing these credits take an hour. If you don't speed through them, I'm going to, I'm going to guess these credits take a full hour. If you don't speed through them. Although we have, we have special thanks production babies. Okay. We have to be close to the end. Additional thanks. Play testers. You know what? Play testers. Good job. Play testers. Good job. Oh, I don't have to hold the button. I can just push it once. Okay. Good job. Play testers. Y'all did really good. Cause there was very few bugs in this game. There was a couple. We got bugged on the parrot quest. Other than that. Okay. All right. Powered by wise. No graphic processor. Unity. Uh, copyright. Bloomberg. Crypto library. I don't, that doesn't sound good. What? Yeah, blah, 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 Unicode. Yeah, I've been doing the software. Ubi services. Zib. Open SSL. This is, this is a software agreement now. What is, what is this? Have these always been in games? I actually, is that it? Oh, we actually got a stinger though. What do we got? Hey. Sargon. Oh, hey, bud. Don't worry. I'll take good care of Varum. Huh? Oh. Is that your son? No, that was, uh, that's, um, that's kid Varum. That was the Varum who no God no midnight no no <laughs> don't don't give Papa Ubi these ideas don't you do it all right start game it's not a hundred percent we're two point zero four percent off how also they just gave me. Like a literal boatload of money. We have six, over 16,000 monies. I assume that means we can upgrade everything at this point. Maybe that is it. You collect all the things that appear on the map? As far as I know, yeah. Oh, interesting. The Where the skull is, that's actually on the map where we fight. The last boss. Oh, interesting. Um, all right, we're going, we're going back to Haven. And we're just going to spend some money and we're going to, we're going to find out. We're going to go talk to Lady Orn. Oh, imagine if we had used the get more money thing. Um, you, do you have anything? No, you don't have anything. Okay. Uh, all right. Lady Orn, you got anything? You, you should. Okay, let's just start upgrading. Let's just start upgrading. Never use this. I'm trying to think of an, an, a time when it would have been like really good, but. All right, white peacock, sure. 
Hopefully we have enough money. I guess if we upgrade all these things and the number went up, then we'll have our answer. I, I don't really like this being part of 100%. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. At least, at least they give you a literal boatload of money for beating, uh, Varum, last Varum. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that being the case. Again, I don't know. We could be wasting our time. Um, but maybe that's why they give you all this money is so that you can just go and upgrade everything. It's actually like because you do you do need like the Xerxes coins to increase some of the stuff so you do still need those I guess if we hit zero Xerxes coins maybe that's it we do still have a silver ingot which is weird because like there's nothing to spend it on as far as I know So I don't know. I wish I wish I could skip this this animation. It's not the longest animation in the world, but I wish I could skip it. Well, that was an interesting post credit scene. So it did confirm everybody else lived. I don't, I don't know what kind of time travel shenanigans allowed baby Varum to live and come out of Mount Koth. I don't fully understand that part, um, but I guess he did. I guess he did. All right, keep upgrading that gear. How many more do we have? So many. Still have a little over 10,000 monies. So again, we'll upgrade what we can as much as we can. Um, and then we'll, I guess, save and quit and see if number, if percentage went up. And if it did, then we are gonna throw that get more money charm on and go fight some people. Try upgrades with it. Uh, uh, yes. So we are definitely, we've been like every, um, it seems like every max upgrade, uh, takes a Xerxes coin in addition to actual money. So we have been doing those, which is why I'm wondering, like, if you have to get every coin and then transfer it into every amulet. And if maybe that's why it's a hundred percent. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. All right. Cause I just, I, so I personally don't agree with the idea that a, and again, it may not be the case, but I don't agree with the idea that part of 100% in a game would be to actually upgrade everything fully. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Um, I guess since we are already down to 5,000, um, have we done the money one? Okay, we've done the money one. Okay, so at least we'll have the most money if we have to get more money. So maybe we won't be playing Pikmin tonight. <laughs> You can, uh, all right, uh, chat, I need to step outside for a second. Uh, so we will be right back. More hybrid, let's play and more 
doing amulet stuff. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everyone. That was weird. All right. Um. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough money to do all these. I think we are gonna run out of money, which is a little frustrating. <laughs> but I guess I guess we'll go to the tree and see if if the number went up, and if it did. Then I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Now it does look like we've gotten quite a bit of these done. So that is good. Um we do have five Xerxes coins left. And we do have five amulets left to upgrade. So maybe that's it. Maybe that is it. Uh we can go ahead and do this one, I guess. To clear this one off. Um, I guess if we just go around the upper city, there's a lot of enemies there. I think there's a lot that give money. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of money. We are gonna, at least when we have all the coins, we just need a lot of money. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a walk walk tree. We are going to save and quit. Um... Uh, character, skins, there's a new skin. Oh, oh, neat. Yeah, we'll wear that. Lore. Eye of the Wanderer. Why was this? Did something happen to the map? I'm afraid I don't understand. Yeah, I, I don't understand. Oh, we can get rid of these, I guess. We don't need these anymore. That is that is interesting that that was done, though. Um, hmm. Okay. Magical glass eye gives us bear the ability. Yeah, nothing seems different about it. That's weird. Um, okay. Uh, turn the main menu. Let's see what our percentage is. Yeah, it's you have to upgrade everything. Okay. We got, we got four, we got four to do. Well, give me, give me the one that gives you money. Where's, where's money one? This one? No, it's time. Although I think I will do that just to just to collect money faster. Um, okay, so I need this one. So take off the arrows. It is greatly increased, so that's good. Okay. All right, let's go to the upper city because I feel like that's where like a lot of stronger enemies are potentially, and we can get more money from them uh yeah sure okay uh let's get some money give me the money wait we don't look exalted are we are we wait Oh, oh, I didn't save, I guess, after that. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, there's, yeah, there's nothing different about that. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Any enemies? Hello? Hello? Plus 18. That is, um, hmm. Nope, come here. Gotta kill you. Gotta kill them all. Enemies. 
Yep, you guys work. Thirty-seven. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, don't super feel like they're giving me a ton. Ow. Hello? Hello? Anybody? You? Hello? Did he not give me money? How dare you? Everyone give me money! Give me money! I feel like we're not getting that much more money from the amulet. I am wearing it, right? Okay. Yeah. Enemies. Enemy down here. Hello. Money. Plus 15? I feel like this thing is bugged. Like this 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 does not feel like a large amount of money. Um, oh boy, I guess we can warp out of here. Uh, where would be a good place to go? Maybe, maybe here. We'll try this. I, I cannot believe they, they tied 100% to maxing out all the charms. Or if they did, they should have given me like 30,000 for beating uh, Varum instead of uh, like the 10,000 or 15,000 or whatever they did. Save and check. Oh, I already did. I already did, Midnight. It's, it is 100% tied to, uh, to it. Cause, cause we're, we're up to 99% having done all that, uh, no, you're good, but yeah, like we're, there's, there's no enemies here where I'm, I'm now a hundred percent sure, um, that we need to go and do every amulet upgrade. Any enemies this way? Anybody here? Come on, where are all you snake ladies? Where are all y'all at? I don't feel like there's enemies here. Yeah, maybe? Alright, whatever. 
Um, maybe, um, grind money, Prince of Persia. Is there a place I can farm money in this game? Um, uh, yeah, you didn't, you didn't tell me a room to actually go and do that. And that's what I want. I need to know the room. Okay. Wait, this is to get the Athra Surge. No, but I think we will go to the. Maybe if we go kill those trees a bunch. Uh, Sumatry. Let's go to this one. Because we can, we can run in and out and we can rest at the tree. And hopefully they give, I think they do give like a decent amount of money. So hopefully they'll give a bunch more. How much was that? 37? Yeah, it's not bad. Uh. We're going to need a lot more. Uh. Yeah, because I don't think there's, there's not really enemies that way. I think there's those birds, but that's about it. So maybe if we go back this way now and then we go across here to the other side and we just kind of keep going back and forth. I feel like we're going to need so much. Yeah, you, excuse me. Oh. How much was that? 44 plus 44. Again, not great to the point where like, I feel like the thing isn't actually working. All right, but we'll go down here. Rested walk walk, which should bring back trees. We kill them really fast. Six hundred and sixty-nine. That is enough to get like one single upgrade. And unfortunately, I don't think there's any like hidden caches of, of like items that we, we just never got.
Like obviously if uh if we hadn't gotten that thing in the the prison we would we would be able to do that, but unfortunately we already got that. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, I think this is going to take so long. Like, I don't even know if it's something I want to do on stream, which kind of sucks because we're so close. But... So if we go back, we have now 831. Go here. Welcome. Um, you can do shockwave one. Um, and we can do Thunder Charm one. So I'm guessing each of these is 300, 600, 900 for each upgrade. Each of these remaining ones. Yeah. Okay. So that means we would need, although this is, these two are on the end. So this is 600, 1200, 2100. I'm guessing this would go to 900, so that's 1500 by itself, which means we need 3600 total, which means we still need 34, 3369. Nice. So we would have to do that, like trees to the arrow dudes, 34 times. Uh, to do everything. So, unless there is a much more, uh, like a route that has a lot more money on it. I'm, I'm just starting to think we might not be able to do this. At least I don't I don't feel like doing this another 34 times on stream, unfortunately. Which sucks because we are so close. Um But I just I don't uh uh Um, grind. I guess I should put instead of money, let me put time crystals here. Grind time crystals. Um, So that's like a hundred if you kill the Ehrlich mini boss. Uh, where, where, is, where are those guys? They're somewhere in the. Are they like right here? 
Maybe. Like if we go to that, that warp. Um. Maybe they're here. Come on. Oh, that's bugged. That is that is a little buggy. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think it's it's right here. So let's see. I guess how many how many do you give? How much do you give? You give 150. Okay, that's... I mean, that's 300 per, per time through here. So that is certainly better. Plus these burbs. We're just drain tanking. Yeah, 150 each time is actually pretty good. And then do they do they respawn if you go if you leave the area? Like if I just Oh yeah, they do. Okay. Well. This is certainly faster. Anything else this way? Or is it just another way to exit the room? Oh, this doesn't respawn them. Oh, interesting. Huh. Oh, did I did I go farther? I guess I can go to this tree here and get stuff back. And that'll definitely make them respawn. Yeah, these guys take a little bit more effort to beat. 
but like they give they do give like a lot of money so i think we had to get to what 3400 so we already are up to 1200 this is this is going much faster i guess let's try and maybe see if they instantly respond Okay, they respond. Maybe I have to just go to that gate and they'll respond that way. Yeah, 300 plus a pop is pretty good. <laughs> maybe you can, so maybe you can only do it like twice before you have to like, okay, before you have to leave to get him to respawn, okay. probably only have to come like this far since it is a zone change from the soma tree to the hurricanian forest but since they actually do take some health and like arrows from me it's not a bad just just uh to soma tree it up Get some extra from here all right so we're 20 less than 2900 away No, less than 1,900 away. I can do math. Yeah, th this is the place to make the money. Make make the money. Hmm. Interesting. So that time it didn't, for some reason, immediately respawn. Weird. All right. Okay. Uh, another amulet I can put on then is like, where's the one where it's like mid-air damage? Is it this one? Yeah. Um, we, uh, no, because that helps with that. Um, we don't need this one as much. We don't need that one. We'll just do more damage. Because we should be right beside them when they die. So we don't need to uh, worry about, like, vacuuming up the money. We just want to do damage. We just want to do big damage. And doing damage in the air is pretty great. Yep, Damio's in the air. Pr pretty good. Ah! 
<laughs> yeah, that's that was a pretty good thing to equip. So we're about 1,200 away now. Awesome. We should only have to do this about four more times. Okay, so I guess that's what I have to do. Like, that is part of it. Like, they come back if you go to the fence first. Well, that wasn't very nice. Thank God I found this because I don't know if I could have done it. I don't think I could have done this at least on stream a different way. Okay, so that's how you get it twice. I guess you have to go. You have to jump at that gate as soon as you get there. All right. And then we interact. Yeah, because, yeah, we had to get to 3,400, I think we said. And even if we, even if I'm off, coming back here to do that isn't obviously very difficult because we're very close also to a, uh, a teleporter. So I know I've been, I've been renewed with life. I'm so happy. I knew, I knew these evil boars would, would, would make the difference in the end. Seventy-nine. So let's do it. Guess let's jump here. Okay, so it's just random. It's just random whether they respawn immediately or not. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Well, if we can get another two cycle. We should have enough. Because we only need about 500 some. So this, this wasn't actually as bad. Again, doing it this way probably cut the time it was going to take by about two thirds. So it was definitely worth it. But yeah, this, this was, this was all right. Yeah, two less than 200. This this was this was good. I'm glad we persevered. <laughs> All right. Come on, give me. Yep. Okay. Awesome. We got a two cycle. Cool. 
I'm only 20 short. Ow. There we go. Cool. All right. That should be enough. Uh, so we just got to go warp back to Haven. Lady Orn. Upgrade me. Wow. That is a bug. That, that thing in the top left over there. That seems like a bug. Okay. Shockwave. Upgrade. All right. Shield of Mithra. I was wrong. It's not 900, it's 1200, which means we'll still need more. I guessed and I guessed wrong. Okay. This will take this will take like one one more trip through and maybe like another enemy because we're we're 358 short so that's okay that's okay that it could have been much worse it could have been much much worse Because, yeah, we only... Uh, killing the two boars again will give us 300. Um, so we just need another 58 from other enemies. Um, this one. So... So we're good. Yeah, that seems like a bug. All right, anyway. Come on, there we go. Five sixty six. Okay, so we need what was that thirty four? Um, let's see if we can just get one of them. If we can get another one more respawn. Yep, we did. So we just got to kill the first boar again, and we're good. That should be it. That's 728 and we needed 600. So that should be everything. Okay. To the forge.
welcome. Yep. Let's go. Thunder Charm 2. Nothing to sell. Anything to say? Earned my respect, Sago. Yay! Do right by it. Let's go. Alright. So that should be now. We go here. Save. And then we go to uh the main menu. Hopefully, hopefully, midnight I might cry. Don't, don't do that me. Don't do that to me. Let's go! Let's go! Oh. Sorry. What the f***? What the f***? That was a really nerdy celebration and I apologize to everyone for it. I'm so sorry. I got really excited about 100%ing this game. My bad, y'all. My bad. My B. So, yeah, we 100%ed it. Uh, so now, uh, hey, sometimes you gotta take a minute. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta take a minute, Cosmic. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I know. I want to bring up Ubi. Ubi, please. So we're going to go actually to the demo scene. Um, and we're going to see, do we have any uh, achievos? So we're actually not at 100% achievements, but that, that can be okay. Now you watch the credits again and no. Uh, trap 30 different enemies using the dimensional claw. Nah, I mean, I can do that in my off time. That's fine. Okay, that's the only one of these. And then... What have we not done for this? Defeat the God Prince. But we did that. We did, we, we did do that. Am I insane? Is this a different achievement? Like... Defeat the God Prince. What else could that mean? All right. Um... Use every Athra Surge. I mean, we could do that, but I'm not going to do that. But that's that's easy enough. Uh, acquire all so much. Repet Wait, we did this. Did some? Oh, God, no. Yeah, because we've also done this one. I don't think we've done this one. I don't think we've done this one. But yeah, some of these we've 100%ed. Some of these are just bugged. This one has to be bugged. This one has to be bugged. This one is not, obviously. This, this one... This one has to be bugged. We got, we got this super cool outfit at the end. Surely, surely that's bugged. So... All right, well, that's fine. So we'll close that. All right. Um, then yeah. That was, that was pretty great. No, it's, we're, yeah, we're not watching the credits again. Uh, so yeah, I think I might do at least the after searches myself to get that one. Cause I don't think I've used it. I've actually used any of these other ones. So, I don't know, we can we can probably go fight those Ehrlichs some more and just do use all these. But that's fine. Um so yeah, we got everything. We have upgraded every single one of these. Um completed every quest. There there's no more active quests. The, these are done. It has it has the check mark. We did it, Papa Ubi. We did it. Oh, uh, we still do have the one silver ingot, which is weird. Um, that's okay. Yeah, this is all done. All the side quests are done. I'm pretty sure this is done. Everything looks fully upgraded. Um, 
got that one. Up, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, every amulet, every uh, the surge, every lore item. Again, I don't know why this gets an exclamation mark once you beat the game. I mean, you've had it in your thing the entire time, but whatever. And then, yeah, we have every lore item. So, yeah, that is that is officially 100% of this game. That is pretty dope. Um, wow, what a game. So, yeah, that's that's really cool. 100%. Accidentally, of course. Accidentally 100%ing the game. Um, let's go ahead and upload this to the cloud. Beautiful, beautiful stuff there. <sighs> All right. We, we could watch the credits again, I guess, but we're not going to. Any news? These are just tips. Just tippies. Um, okay. Definitely accidental. Definitely. All right. With that, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not, sorry, sorry, Pikmin 4. We're not, we're not doing your demo tonight, unfortunately. Um, cause it's just like, eh. We already, we already did a lot. We already did a lot. Um, let me take a quick look, Cosmic. Um, and you can text me if you want. Uh, how, how are you doing? How are you doing? Cause that, that does kind of influence my decision. Um, I, I, I'm hoping the fact that you haven't texted me again is a good sign. Um, but if you want to like message me on discord, um, okay. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, is anybody... If you want to try to find find somebody, maybe Cosmic, maybe one of our, our friends are uh, are on here. Eh. Uh, I think friends, maybe, because uh, I'm not really seeing anybody, unfortunately. Um. So I don't know. This this might be a skip. But we'll see. You have two on. If you want to Discord them to me, that's fine. And I'll I'll make my decision from there. If you wanna just Discord them? I can see. I can see Cosmic is typing. Discord is telling me Cosmic is typing. Suspense. Um, wait, which one is that? Oh no, I need to, I need to remember which one is that. Okay, that's, that's that one. Okay, sorry. I, I need to remember. I was pretty sure I knew which one it was, but I needed to remember. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I know. I think, I think we'll pass tonight. Also, because I just want to make sure everything's good. So, um, but I appreciate you, Cosmo. I appreciate you, appreciate you. Um, maybe we'll do a raid or magical journey, as we like to call it here, uh, next Saturday, uh, when next we stream. Um, cause again, I will be taking off, uh, this Monday and Thursday because, uh, this is, this is pretty much the worst week of the year for me. <laughs> one of, one of two weeks, I'd probably say this is, this, this is, I, it's probably still the worst week, but, uh, yeah, this one's going to be a rough one. So I will, uh, I will be back this Saturday, 8 30 PM Eastern time. Uh, we'll be playing a new game. Again, probably a pretty short game, but you know, I maybe one, two episodes, um, so yeah, come back here for that. That'll be a lot of fun. 
<laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Cosmic. I know. I know. But you brought more rain. You brought more rain. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. We got We got to pump up the holiday tree. We got to pump up the holiday tree. And we got to we got to sun it out a little bit too. Sun it out. Rain rain and sun for 100%ing Prince of Persia the Lost Crown. Um, socials are uh, in the chat. They're also on this very amazingly real sign right back here. Hybrid Let's Play one on Twitter. Hybrid Let's Play on Instagram. At Hybrid Let's Play on YouTube. Uh, thanks again to Midnight49 for this wonderful sign. Thanks again to Cosmic. Uh, thanks again to Cosmic for her shining her cosmic rays upon it and making it glow. Um, so yeah, if you have missed any of our now complete Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown playthrough, go check it out on YouTube all of the preceding nine episodes he says question mark yeah nine episodes of the of the playthrough are up there for you to peruse if you so desire over on the youtube page if you want to see how we got to the 100 percent mark it was a long journey but dang if it wasn't an awesome one i had a absolute blast playing Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. Kudos to everyone at Ubisoft Montreal for making it. Every single one of you in the credits, there were a lot of you. <laughs> um, so yeah, join the Cosmic Space Discord and uh, yeah, join us back here this Saturday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. Maybe we'll take a magical journey then. Um, thanks again to all of you for coming out tonight, whether you were lurking, you're chatting it up, if you're here for five minutes or the entire stream, I really, truly appreciate each and every one of you and hope you enjoyed Prince of Persia as much as I did. But until next stream, again, this Saturday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, take care. Wait, no. I have totally forgotten my outro. Wow. Good job, me. Oh, stay safe. Stay healthy, because it is that season. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'm hybrid for hybrid. Let's play. And until you catch you in the next stream, take control and take care. Good night, Sargon. <laughs>